I'm on the main menu of Hilti Construction Layout, and I want to station or set the tool up, so I'm going to go to Stationing. And then I want to station or set the tool up using my control lines or grid lines. So I'm going to choose this one. It's going to give you this layout accuracy information. I'm going to go ahead and press Acknowledge. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to select the building line or control line, and we're going to measure two points on that line. Then we're going to select another line, measure two more points, select the station. Let's go ahead and walk through that slowly so you can follow along. So right now, currently, I'm my prism pole is on grid line A or building line A, and that's the line I want to measure first. So I'm going to go ahead and select that line. And notice how my prism is on the line itself. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this as my first point. Again, you can measure anywhere you want on the line. I'm going to go ahead and print measure. Perfect. Now I'm going to stay on the same line, but I'm going to walk down as far as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and pick it up. All right, I'm, I've landed over here. Again, I'm, on, I'm still on grid line A. I'm going to measure my second point. I'm going to make sure my prism is level. And I'm going to go ahead and press measure. Perfect. Now it says select the second building line. I am very close to grid or building line number one. As you can even see, if I can kind of zoom in a little bit, notice you see the number one. So I'm going to go ahead and move my prism over to that line. Make sure I'm on it, make sure I'm level, and I'm going to go ahead and tap building line or control line one, and it lights up, and I'm going to hit the measure button. And now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to walk as far as I can down, and I'm going to measure the second point on grid or building line one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set it down. I'm on grid line or building line one, make sure I'm level, and I'm gonna press the measure button. And now that I've done that, there are two locations the actual total station could be on or within. Usually by knowing your job site, you can look and see based on grid line one and two where my total station actually is. In this case, my total station is station two. It's on the inside of the intersection grid line A and grid line 1. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. All right, now we can check the estimated station location. And notice if I zoom in a little bit, those four green lines are the points that we just basically measured. Under station information, under the summary, it says estimated OK, which means within the tolerance that we set, the station is OK. And then we can also look at measurements and we could see all of those points and the measurements or values that they are associated with. Uh, in most cases, the first three will always say zero. And your last point, which is always going to be line two, point two, will actually show you the deviation of the angle. And this one's a negative one eighth of an inch, which again, based on the tolerances that I set, okay with me. I'm going to go ahead and press check, which means I accept this station. And then I can go right into layout. And now that I'm in layout, I could walk around and verify just to make sure everything looks good. And then I can go ahead and go into laying out my points or locations.